took a chunk, a chunk out of me leg. What is going on ladies and gentlemen I'm Dan Whitmer welcome back to my channel so um, the video that you just watched was a skateboard video that I put together in Hawaii along with one of my best friends my main man he's also my roommate Trevor we went to the big island of Hawaii after Japan and so I made a little skateboard video um, using the drone and also this camera the Sony a7 III so I just wanted to give you guys a little behind the scenes look of what it took to get that shot um, but before I do that, I just want to remind you guys that I am an entrepreneur out here living in, in Los Angeles. Uh, my main business and the thing that I run on the internet is called Jump Rope Dude. So if anybody's looking to lose weight and they want to have a great time doing it and they want Jump Rope to be the primary source of that, go check out the channel. All right, so back to this video. What you, the reason I wanted to make this video was because I think it's the, what I think is amazing about video and film is that the final product that everyone sees is this like perfect, smooth, good looking piece of art. But like what goes into actually making video or most art is actually kind of mundane and even a little bit boring or frustrating at times. Um, so just a couple things like what you guys, by the way, um, I am gonna be posting more. I know I've said that like a few times, but I am gonna be posting a lot more as I just continue to develop and figure out what this channel is going to be about. So I'm going to usually do the format where I make a video that's one to two minutes and then kind of explain why I made that video and the breakdown of the gear I used and stuff like that. Um, so comment below if you find that interesting or if you want different types of content from me, um, but any feedback is greatly appreciated. So uh, what we did, Trevor and I were in Hawaii on a highway. And it's really funny because all you guys see is the, again, the final product, me skateboarding, you know, kind of cutting in and out of transitions where I'm close to the camera and then shots from a drone. So what we actually did to get that shot was we were on a busy highway in, in, in Hawaii. So it wasn't just some like empty road. There was cars going by at like 60, 70 miles an hour. So what we did was we actually took the the drone up in the air and surveyed for traffic so we could we had to wait for a specific time when there was a big stretch with no cars. Three miles behind us there was also a storm that was fast approaching so, so we had a and the sun was out like at the right time. Basically what I'm saying is we had to do this coordinated drone shot and then do another one where Trevor was leaning out of the car filming me all in about like a 45 minute window before the rain totally went, you know, went over that road. So it was funny because first of all, we take the drone up in the air and we only have one drone battery. For anyone who knows anything about drones, their battery life is terrible. And they, you know, they die within like 30 to 40 minutes. So we're taking the drone up to survey traffic to make sure that none's coming. So the battery's being drained. And then when we finally found a break in traffic, that's when like Trevor put the drone back down. He put it on active track so that it would follow me as I skateboarded. And we got about a one minute run from that that I was able to use. By the way, I'm not obviously like not paid to say this, but the DJI Mavic Pro 2 is an amazing drone, especially if you're just like on that consumer level where you want something really good. You're not shooting like commercials and stuff like that. Although. It totally could be used and has been used. It, it is used a lot for branded content. Um, it's not the most, it's, it's one of the best consumer drones is what I'm trying to say. 
But anyway, had the issue with traffic, had the issue with the rainstorm coming. Uh, then I fell off my skateboard and actually got injured pretty bad at the end. Um, I was going a little bit too fast. I started to lose control and so I just jumped off the board thinking, okay, I'll like land on my feet and just run it out. Did not work. The inertia from my body just threw me forward and I just did a couple rolls and ended up with a nice little strawberry and a nice big open gash on my on my hip and some cuts and stuff on my elbows and knees. But all in all, we got the shot. It turned out exactly like I wanted and I just wanted to make this video to show you guys that like, that's, that's kind of cool to me. The cool part about creating art or creating a video is going the distance and just making it happen. Like having a vision in your head and making it happen no matter the circumstances. Because what you don't see is all the boring parts of it. It's also frustrating to communicate with someone. Trevor and I are both kind of like perfectionists. So we're standing there like he's yelling at me like, hey man, like you have to do this. I'm yelling back like, what? Like, what are you saying? What? So trying to coordinate all of that with the traffic and the rainstorm and having all the batteries that we were using like slowly just dying out um it created this fun little environment of like hey can you can you get the shot and i love for me anyway like that's that's my adrenaline rush that's the reason i keep going and doing this because it gets me so excited to show up somewhere with an idea and be like do you, do you think we'll actually be able to execute this like will we actually be able to get the shot so all the art, all the videos, all that stuff that you see on Instagram or YouTube or in commercials or TV shows, there's so much behind the scenes that goes into making that. So my advice to all the people out there who are like starting to make videos or people that want to make videos, like understand it's not just this, like if you want the video, you got to make the video. And what I mean by that, it sounds kind of silly, but I think everyone wants these amazing videos that look like this or look like that, but they require an immense amount of preparation and thought and execution. You know, I've, I always think to myself, like a lot of people want the video, but they don't want to make it. And I think the cool part is making it. It is all the frustration and like if your gear breaks or if something goes wrong, someone doesn't show up on time, the sun sets at the wrong time, you show up too late or whatever. There's all these things that are involved in getting the right shots. And so for me, that's just kind of my adrenaline rush. That's what keeps me coming back. But hope you guys found that story useful. Um, I appreciate all the support on this channel. I don't really know why you guys follow me, but I really do appreciate every comment. Um, and I will be better about just answering those and interacting a little more. Um, but but yeah, I, 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 I wanted to start this channel because it was just a way for me to learn and share my skills becoming a filmmaker and a videographer. And although I'm not super positive on what this is gonna be, um, obviously my main job is still Jump Rope Dude, so that's where I spend a majority of my time. Um, I want this to, you know, my goal for the rest of my life is to make art and have video be the biggest medium. So for me, this channel is just about me living my life and doing things that I like and creating experiences that I like and then sharing them with you. And if that turns into branded content, making music videos, um, you know, shooting other stuff, I, I don't quite know at this point. But I think the thing that we talk about, especially at my fitness company, Jump Rope Dudes, is the best, the best way to get to your goal is just to not stop. It's just to be consistent. It's just to take consistent action. I'm not really sure where this is gonna take me. I don't know how long it's gonna take me to feel really proficient as a filmmaker and an editor. Um, but I'm not in it to feel, you know, accomplished. I'm in it to have fun. I'm in it to, to do this for the rest of my life and just, just do as much as I possibly can. So something to think about. Appreciate all the support guys. Um, comment below. Oh yeah. Like, and subscribe if you, if you like this video and you, you can subscribe and then you get, you get more videos like this. So appreciate you guys and we'll see you on the next video very soon.